New details coming in tonight about the Olathe mom who is charged with attempting to kill her three children. 41 Action News reporter Sarah Plake live now at the Johnson County Jail where that woman is being held right now. So Sarah, what did you uncover today? Well, we found out that Therese Raver did not have full custody of her three kids. So when her ex-husband came to pick them up on Monday, he called police saying that they'd been drugged. However, we did talk to a person close to the family who tells us that the kids are doing well. Therese Raver is in the Johnson County Jail, charged with attempted capital murder. Police say she drugged her three kids, who are all under 10 years old, by giving them a non-prescribed medication. She appeared in Johnson County Court Wednesday morning via video, where the judge refused to lower her million-dollar bond because of the nature of the charges. Harvey is trying to pick up kids from ex-wife. Wife's been back drugged up and... Groggy. According to police dispatch calls, Raver's ex-husband came to her apartment Monday night to pick up the kids from their visit. Larpy just entered the apartment and they're advising you sounds drugged. The wife is Andy, a 38-year-old female. They're advising she's barely awake but breathing. Police say Raver told them she'd given the kids a substance that was meant to harm them. She said it was intentional. It was a drug overdose. There's no weapons. According to court records, Raver wasn't supposed to give her kids any medication during a visit without contacting their father first. A judge ordered that Mr. Raver would be in charge of the kids' doctor's appointments, and if the kids had a serious illness, only he could interact with the doctor. The couple split up a few years ago, and last winter, Mr. Raver was granted more time with the kids, though she could have unsupervised visits. So we'll be following this case, and Raver's next court appearance is here on March 1st. In Olathe, I'm Sarah Plake, 41 Action News.